Hi guys, I'm Karen and welcome back to my channel. The Dapa Wenya Wife in America. So guys, kumusta mo din ha sa inyong mga balay-balay? Kamo din na na nasa Pilipinas o mga naa sa laing nasod na itong mga kababayan, especially sa itong mga ka, mga ka OFW din ha na mga mga fellow kababayan po niya nasa laing das, nasod. Guys, I hope and I wish that you are all fine. And kami dari sa balay guys, not so fine. <laughs> But there's no uh, deal is siya ka ng, yung, uh, ka ng big deal you guys na deal me okay. Um, middle middle lang mga peeps it's because ang akong duha ka anak guys na ay colds and cough then ako guys is na ako ay sore throat but we have no fever none of us had a fever and si James is okay and um, ang akong mga anak guys it's been it's been I think 5 days na sila na ay cough and colds pero ang ilang cough guys mutukar lang o ganang same sad sa ako ang sore throat kanang mukatol akong sore throat guys especially if if kanang early morning guys mo good siya guys di akin mugara ang kanang karat gani <laughs> mugara ang karat but anyways I am drinking tea guys like um ginger tea and lemon uh, ginger tea usahay guys lemon tea but usahay po butangan na ko og kanang lemon ang ginger tea or green tea and ang um, akong duha ka kids guys ang buti ni sa Amerika mga pips basta mga younger kids di para sa Pilipinas that you can just give easily and buy uh, over the counter meds especially ka sa mga ubo-ubo o sip on but here naagya po yung mga <coughs> excuse me guys naagya po sila yung mga tambal din hi, pero Lahi ragid guys, na lahi ragid ang tambal din hibakan ang ganing over the counter nga mga medication especially sa bata. Pero kana mga tambal guys sa kalitura sa mga bata na a uh, tempra forte, na slay para sa tamol in ana. Pero pero kung sa usahay uh, lagi guys man ako kung naali tambal sa Pilipinas ban padala na ko dere. <laughs> Sikreto. <laughs> okay nga no guys, mo ana magud sila mga pips ang doctor na pag ubusip on ana especially for less than 2 years old dili unsa lang guys rest pa inom og tubig unsa lang hydration hydration <laughs> but anyways mga peeps my kids are okay na alang jay hutoy guys <laughs> mag contest mi mga peeps mag contest <laughs> katul kay mga peeps but anyway i said i i need i need to record a video it's about guys the civil documents that I uploaded, especially if you are uh, already in, uh, if you are already done with your IV application in siac.state.gov and then you need to require to upload the necessary civil documents, guys. And um, uh, I already got all my documents needed and so I decided to to make sure not to forget to show you guys how it looks like if you can upload those documents on their, on their website. And um, I know this video is so, so much delay already, mga pips, but still, I said at least I will be able to show to share with you guys information of how it looks like if you are about to upload your civil documents. So, guys... I hope that this video is helpful and guys, please may apologize sa akong tagway karon. <laughs> mga pips na lang, na lang ko sa balay and then ganina mga pips naghatod ko og cake. So anak ko, kapoy kay usahay guys magatiman sa katong katagwayan ba. <laughs> so anak ko guys na mga rios lang ko para di kayo haggard og naong basing mahadlok sa ako ah, ang kanang mood customer ba client. <laughs> So guys, pasensya na I look so horrible and I look <coughs> I look nang haggard mga pips. But anyways, without further ado, without further I do, guys, I hope um this video is helpful and by the way guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Guys, consider subscribing to my channel if you found this 
helpful and at the same time like and comment and guys by the way before I forgot on my next video about the uh, immigration guys tutorial I will uh, give you information that I believe is so so helpful guys especially if you are not hiring a lawyer or an you know like um, in agency to help you out this all this all of this processing like immigration thing I will show you guys and tell you um, a very very important dude <laughs> guys because you know like okay my chica doors are not bips um, my sources guys to help you know like to to give courage to myself that I could do this, I could do this on my own, doing doing this application by myself, answering all the forms. Guys, my my very encourager guys is it's not just uh doing my research, you know, like the people that that help me answer my questions, especially if I type in Yahoo and search or Google the questions that I need to know about immigration or or YouTube channel guys, you know. I believe that a lot of you are checking YouTube channel, of course, to help you with your journey, journey in your immigration papers. I know that we cling a lot in this YouTube channel, you know, like research. But guys, I don't sure, I'm not sure, guys, if you are also looking at the at Facebook groups. OMG, guys. I'm going to share with you and list later uh, on the next video all the... Us. probably not all guys but I will probably for sure I will give you three to five Facebook groups that is very 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 helpful in your journey as you process your documents because I've been asking them many many times especially in filling out the forms and they are so helpful they are very nice and um, of course they should be nice <laughs> Because you're just asking, you're not you're not asking money or you're not, you know, like being bad on the group. So they are very nice people and they will really help you. And I believe it will also help you. So guys, on the next video, stay tuned and wait for that. And well, it's, it's getting longer now, guys. Let's dive into the gist of this topic. Let's go to the laptop. So guys, I'm here right now at the laptop and let's go to seeact.state.gov, log in, enter. So this time guys, I'm showing guys how I'm, how I'm gonna upload all the civil documents on my mom. So let's input the case number. Continue type the invoice ID number I am the petitioner enter the characters click continue so here guys when you scroll down you can see that the IB fee has been paid, the IB application has been completed, and on, you can see in the civil document section, it's I did not do anything yet, so I will click start now. <coughs> so here guys, you can see all the civil documents that you needed to upload. There are six of them. The petitioner's marriage certificate, that's my you know marriage certificate and my husband the petitioner's birth certificate this this birth certificate guys when i was still applying for i want with zero for my mom i uploaded my nso guys and i have no issue with it still i got approved and now that i have a copy of my psa birth certificate then i will upload that psa birth certificate then passport biographic page with this one guys you will see you will find it in, in the, when you open your passport where the picture is and all the important information that 
that is in your pass passport. That's what you're gonna scan. And then photographs, guys, uh, two by two photos. If you are have a question about this photograph uh, requirements, then just go to siak.state.gov and you will find there, guys, the requirements uh, that needed for the photo. And the birth certificate of the intending immigrant, which is my mom, and also the marriage certificate of my uh, of my mom. So first, guys, and and guys, as you can see here in the status, it's all missing. So it will change to uploaded once you, of course, uploaded all the documents. So let's do the petitioner's marriage certificate first. Our marriage license. Choose file upload so as you can see guys as soon as you uploaded it it will automatically show here guys that it's uploaded and then i will upload the nbi clearance of my mom click choose file then click upload you know even it says here police certificate we also have police clearance in the philippines but it says here police certificate that means uh you, you need to get the nbi clearance not the police clearance that usually you, you usually get when you uh, applied for a job in the philippines but here guys the police certificate that uh the siac is is saying is the nbi clearance so here i'm gonna upload next is click here the marriage certificate of my mom and dad choose file open and then upload so next guys i'll upload the birth certificate of my mom choose file upload so guys as you can see a while ago i uploaded the one that is not the birth certificate of my mom that is not compressed so uh, the CAC rejected it because that's more than 2 MB. And now, guys, I I go to another file. I I I go to the folder where the final guys, the final <clears throat> compression that all the documents that I, the final compression of the documents that all I did that I did. <coughs> Sorry, guys. And so that's of course for sure it will already be accepted because that's less than 2 MB so the photograph now guys i can upload the photograph the two by two photo of my mom choose file two by the photo upload next guys is the passport biographic page upload a document choose file petitioner's birth certificate this is my psa guys birth certificate upload a document choose file and upload okay so i already uploaded the marriage license of the petitioner which is our marriage license and then the petitioner birth certificate which is my psa birth certificate the passport biographic page of the intending immigrant or the beneficiary the photograph, 2x2 two two photo, of course, of the immigrant with white background. I already uploaded the birth certificate, the PSA birth certificate of the intending immigrant, and of course, the marriage certificate of the intending immigrant. So make sure, guys, all your documents is less than 2 MB or 2 MB or else uh, the CAC will reject, reject it or will not accept your file. So let's click in this, guys, the red button. Let's click Submit Documents.
your documents will be sent to the NBC for review. If something is missing or incorrect, NBC will send you an email. You will then be able to return to this page to make changes or submit additional documents as requested by NBC. So once you submit your documents, you will not be able to make changes unless requested by NBC. As you're ready to submit your documents to the NBC for review, of course, of course click yes. Document submission receive your documents have been submitted to the NBC. If any document does not satisfy submission standards, you will be contacted to submit a replacement for a rejected document. Your case won't be transferred to U.S. Embassy or Consulate for adjudication until all documents satisfy submission standards. Remember, it says here, guys, you need to bring all the, <clears throat> the original documents that you uploaded here. So... So, so as the controller will compare it, guys, if your documents is not fake uh, and it is legit. So, whatever you you uploaded here, guys, online, then you have to bring those as well, the originals in your interview. So, close. So, guys, I'm back to my homepage. And as you can see here, the civil documents status is already submitted. Here, guys and it's not start now <laughs> obviously so that's it guys I hope you will find this video helpful and <clears throat> today guys it's it's no time here and I will be doing my cake after this because I have cake order and I have a cake pick up here home later and I have a cake delivery tomorrow so please bear with me guys i said i just need to do this uh documents and and show you guys quick so i said i will not since i'm just home today so a little look very homey guys <laughs> but anyways my peeps i'm gonna make our lunch because it's almost 12 o'clock here and I hope guys that you don't forget to subscribe to my channel and God bless everyone. See you in the next video guys. I will definitely I will definitely um, let you know if what's the uh, feedback of the NBC and when I'm gonna get uh, messages or reply, re reply from them about uh, this documents that I just submitted. So as you can see here guys, it's already submitted and I'm so happy that I already did it. And I hope you guys will also do the same time soon to upload all your documents and give feedback. Uh, you know, like comment down below if you got your feedback, how was your application. And I am very willing to help you guys if I have, you have some questions. But I will just want to let you know guys that I am not an expert on this topic. But I just want to share with you guys how I did it. So till guys next time on the next video. God bless everyone. Take care. Bye.